Okay guys, so this video is about how to take um, a data set, I'm going to call this data set, a data set in uh, Excel, I'm going to call this data set survival, uh, and then run, how to run a, another file with a script, I'm going to call this survival.r, okay? So first thing you need to do is to open up Excel and check the variables. Uh, there were actually some problems with these variables. Uh, I, I won't go over into this because you know this would take some time. But the main important thing that I have already done up front is that I have um, mapped to make sure that the names in the file here so primarily the variables that I'm going to be using, so status and days, they match the names of the variables in my script. So days and status. If that's okay, then you know the 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 this script will be able to track this file. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing, you need to make sure that all the paths to the file are correct and have correct names. So basically, uh, you know, my script will be looking for the file under this path, users are Pietro desktop survival.csv. And this is basically where it is because it's in my, uh, my, uh, uh, my, my desktop. The only thing is that, well, my specific script expects a, uh, a file in a CSV format which is CSV stands for comma separated values and right now we have the uh, the file in an Excel format now there are multiple ways of doing this you know there are packages in R uh, that will allow you to import Excel but I'm you know I'm gonna do the simplest possible thing which is I'm gonna you know open up the the file I'm gonna come to file then save as and I'm going to save it as CS as a CSV file Okay, and I'm going to say save, it's going to give me some warning, I don't care, and then I just save again, I don't know why it's asking me to save twice, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I have a file here, uh, which is called, you know, survival. Now, I don't know why Excel does this, but it, it got rid of my .csv extension. So I'm just going to edit by hand here. Okay, so that's fine. So right now I have like the Excel, which I'm no longer going to use. I'm going to put it aside. I have my script, which is represented by this file here. And by the way, this file was open in a, a software called Aquamax, which is Emacs for uh, for the Mac. Well, what happened here? That's funny. Get rid of that. In uh, the what I'm going to do is to run the analysis through Aquamax. So how do I do this? Well, I've done this in a previous video, but it's actually pretty simple. So first thing, I just do Command Alt Two, and it will split my screen into two screens. Uh, so right now here I have the script and here I am going to change this to an R uh, uh, session. The way I do this is by Alt X and then capital R. Uh, I mentioned this before but Alt in Emacs is an M, it's the meta uh, key. And then I click uh, enter. Uh, it asks me whether my starting data repository should be desktop. I'm going to say yes, enter. And so now I have my screen split into two things. Uh, on the top I have the script, and at the bottom I have an R, uh, uh, an R uh, session. Let me just put this thing here to the side. Well, once I have this, then it's just a matter of actually running the script. In uh, uh, Aquamax, you know, through a I won't go into the details, but the reason why Aquamax can run R is because it has a... Um, a plugin called ESS, which stands for Emacs Speaks Statistics, I think. And uh, in uh, ESS, if I press Control C B, 
it's going to evaluate my entire file. So basically what this file is doing uh, is calling a library uh, that will basically call a survival package, you know, it has all the functions. It will import my CSV file, attach the data, and generate a function that will create a, uh, a file called survival.jpg uh, uh, on my desktop. Now, I have run this with the Control c b button, uh, and uh, actually it has already created the, the, the file for me. The data file, but I can see that you know that really happened because at the bottom here where the R that was an alarm uh, where the R se uh, session is running, uh, you know all the commands have been run. So basically, you know, if you would like, you can look at uh, you know the different output. I have a few other things here, but the most important thing for right now is that you know this file has been generated. Uh, and now, basically, you know, what I can do is to take this file and insert this into a manuscript or a presentation or whatever I want to do. Bye.